Daddy, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't call me Kitten. At least not in public. I have called you Kitten since you were two years old. Well, I wasn't running a major corporation when I was two. It's kind of hard with some of the older executives. Why, are they giving you a tough time? No, no, no one's giving me a hard time. <laughs> but a few of them have reminded me how I used to crawl around on their office floors. Have you done this recently? <laughs> I remember bringing you to the office just to drive him crazy, especially what's his face, uh, Tut Tutwiler. Uh, is Tut still giving you a tough time? No, no one's giving me a hard time, Daddy. And you don't need to be so protective. You gave me a job to do, and I'm doing it. I know. Good job, too. I'm real proud of you. You know, Mason's come back to work for us a little bit. Yes, he... He's doing a little bit of work in Tokyo. I didn't want to leave with Eden out of town. Well, Mason and I put that office in Tokyo together. Had a few obstacles, but we really made it fly. Hello, Mr. Capwell. Kelly, I've been trying to get a hold of you at your office. I guess you really haven't had time to return my phone calls. I've just been very busy, Sandra. Yes, I understand that. But believe me, I wouldn't have called unless it were something terribly important. You see, I have been picking up some very disturbing images about Capital Enterprises, and I just can't help feeling that the company is in some kind of trouble. The company is in the best possible hands, Sandra. And believe me, there's no one in charge who is crazy enough to listen to a crackpot like you. Mr. Capwell, I understand that not everyone is going to believe my gift. But you, have you forgotten what I've done for Cruz and Eden? No, I haven't. And I can remember the pain you caused the two of them. So if you would excuse me, my daughter and I are in a private conversation. Sayonara. The cake looks beautiful. The mother's gonna love it. I can't remember if I took a head count for this table of yours. Well, it'll be my mother and Ted and Wanda and hopefully my dad. Okay, setting for five. Mr. Capwell, you are going to love this meal. Okay, magnificent. Magnif. I thought he was Italian. What is that all about? Oh, I forgot to call you. I planned a little uh, birthday for Mama. The party. Birthday? Oh, my. Daddy? Oh, my God, I forgot about it. You didn't? I did, honey. It slipped my mind. Oh, damn. Well, will you stay, won't you? She would really appreciate it. There she is. Hey. Birthday girl. Hi, honey. Birthday. Thank hey, you Sophia, so much. Sophia, happy birthday. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't know you were going to be here. Well, I wouldn't intrude on your dinner, no. Oh. Listen, um, I've got some business to take care of. Why don't you give me about an hour and I'll come back? How about that, huh? Thanks, Dad. Okay, see you a little bit.